He tried to explain, but no one would listen to her. It was like talking to a wall. Yes, that wall. The most terrifying wall in the world. You'll hear the whole story as Theater 5 presents The Arithmetic of Honor. <laughs> If you were hurt, I will immediately take you to the municipal hospital. No, I, I am shaken up, officer, but I believe I will be all right in about a few minutes. Good enough. Please, everybody, stand away. Stand away. Do not touch this man's foot. Thank you, officer. You are kind to be patient with me. We hope we are not barbarians like the hobos who shot at you as you tried to escape. Oh, no. You know, my friend, you were very lucky. There's a bullet hole in the cab, not three centimeters from your head. Ah, uh, I thought I heard some lead whistle through the air the few seconds I was stuck on the barrier. I'm glad their aim is as bad as their politics, their attic, and slow. Huh? <laughs> I'm much better now, officer. May I proceed? Uh, in a little moment. I must make the incident, and then you go to the Bureau of Registration. Uh, uh, after all, you have just crossed the border, and there are technicalities and questions. But of course, and I'm glad to be alive to answer them. Now, uh, what is your name? Hans Bauer. Hans Bauer. Yeah. Your address? It was 45B Mullerstrasse, East Berlin. Strasse, East Berlin. Your age, Herr Bauer? 26. Uh-huh. Uh, occupation? Electronics engineer, but I have been working as a truck driver for the East Berlin Municipality. Uh, the could be confiscated in return. Oh, I have no further use for it. Let them repair the bullet hole. Huh? <laughs> well said. Uh, Herr Bauer, uh, do you have any family in West Berlin or West Germany? Regrettably, I do not. Uh, one more question. Are you married or single? Yes. Uh, please, sir, I asked you, are you married or single? Ah, uh, oh, uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm single. I'm single. I'm, I'm not married. I have no wife. <laughs> You know, my, uh, when they sent me here to Selburg from West Berlin, it was the loneliest town in all of West Germany. And then I found you. Please, Hans. You will make me blush. Oh, you will only be the prettier, Maria. <laughs> ah, time to stop dancing and start drinking. Oh, huh? oh wonderful idea. Well... I will have another beer, if I may. Oh, I thought perhaps to try an American cocktail. Oh, Hans, <laughs> you know I am not permitted such a thing. Oh. On my next birthday, perhaps, when I am 19. Oh, Papa would be so shocked to hear you even offer a cocktail. He thinks you are so proper. But I am. Yes, Hanschen, you are. Sometimes too proper. Are you complaining? No. I am wondering, Hans. Oh. I always wonder. You say the most flattering things. You make me blush. You confuse me utterly. <laughs> but when you kiss me, sometimes I I feel it is because you have to. Of course, of course I have to. You have never been a man, for which I'm most grateful. <laughs> but if you were, you would know that when a man is with a girl as pretty as you are, has to kiss her. Huh? That's not exactly what I meant. And besides... There are many girls in Salberg prettier than I am. Oh. Hans, you know you puzzle me. Here you are, an engineer, graduate of a technical college with a degree. You read books all the way through that I can hardly read the title. And I am an ordinary Salberg girl. A very extraordinary girl, Maria. Oh, Hans. A girl I spent months looking for ever since I smashed through the wall to West Berlin. Ah, Maria, you are just perfect. Oh, be serious, Hansen. The girls at the factory all think I am your mistress already. Oh, well, they can't imagine your sort of man courting a girl like me, honorably. And I can't either. But you know me, and they do not. Ah, do I know you? All I know is that three months ago, 
You walked along the assembly line with a hair director. You see me working with my soldering gun, minding my own business. Mm. And I have hardly a moment to think since. I never had a boyfriend for more than six weeks at a time. Has become like... Like Cinderella. <laughs> Why, Hans? I am so confused. Is it so confusing to be loved? Am I loved? You never say it straight and simple. And do I love you? Or am I just dizzy from all the attention? <laughs> I don't know. Poor darling, Maria. I didn't realize that I had set you spinning. Hmm? You know, Liebchen, what we need is some time together. Some real time to, to get to know each other. Oh, we do, Hans. I would like that. Well, next Wednesday, I would like to take a trip with you. A trip? Yes. Well, I, I'm not sure. Where do you wish to go, Hans? Have you ever been to West Berlin? West Berlin? Yeah. Sure. Well, Hans, I, I have never been more than 50 kilometers from Selberg in my whole life. Would you like to go? Oh, I would love it. If Papa and Mama will let me. Oh, I think they will give you permission. They will do anything you ask. No one can resist. <laughs> Not even your parents. <laughs> and if I ask you to take me some other day, will you do what I ask, Hans? No, no, it, it, it must be next Wednesday. This is the time I can make the trip to West Berlin. Huh. You know, Hans, you puzzle me. Why Wednesday? Please, trust me, Maria. I have my reasons. And soon, you will know them. When, Hans? When we are there, darling. When we are there. <laughs> In my life have I had such a day of excitement. Oh, and now this park and some music. Oh, I knew that you would like it. Oh. But this is only the beginning. Hans, oh, Hans, all the doubting and wondering has disappeared. Good. I love you more than anyone in the world, even Mama and Papa. And I love them for giving me permission to go with you today. And I love them, too, for that. Oh. Now, here. Yes. Do you know where you are now? Where I am? Why, I am in West Berlin, of course. Right. And do you know what we are going to do next? Well, I... I haven't known that all day. <laughs> it is one surprise after another. And this is to be the greatest one. Uh, we are going to East Berlin. To East? Yeah. No, no, Hans, I, I couldn't... I, I don't want to. I would be scared. There's nothing to be frightened of, my oh. darling. You have your West German identity. Oh, no, but Hans... There will be no trouble getting back. Of course, you've got to be careful not to lose the card, or the Volkspolizei would put you in jail. No, I, I have my card, darling. You know I always carry it. But I don't want to cross the border. It is too much of a risk. The risk is little compared to what I have known, Maria. Remember last week, I told you that I wanted to make this trip on this particular yes, Wednesday. Yes, I remember, and you promised to tell me why. So I did, and I will. Now, look, just one year ago, I smashed through that barricade right there. Yes, I... And nearly lost my life to get my freedom. Today, I want to go back there as a free man, hook back to West Berlin with all the proper identity oh, cards. I... And I want you to be with me when I look the Vopo straight in the eye and think that perhaps this Vopo is the same thing swine who turned on the machine gun that almost killed me. Maria, will you come with me? Hans. My Hans. I will be proud to go with you anywhere, anytime. Yeah, now you will understand why we had to leave. We? I, I mean, why I had to leave. Oh. Maria, did you put your identity card away? Well, I think I did. Hmm. I usually keep it in my purse. 
You have me worried, huh? Well, here, you, you'd better check to be certain. Mm-hmm. Let's sit down at this cafe and rest and have a drink. Yes. Yeah? Uh, sit yes. here, my dear. Yeah. My identity card. I, I was sure I had put... Oh. Here it is, Hans. I was looking right at it. It was here in my purse, just where I always keep it. Ah, oh, there. I feel much better. No, wait. Are, are you putting it back in the purse? Of course. Oh, no, no, no. Not safe. You put your purse on the table, you look oh. away for a moment, and poof, it's gone. Oh, that would be awful. Yeah, perhaps you'd better let me take care of it for you. Here, give it to me. Well, if you think it would be safer. Oh, of course it would be. Now, look, I, mm. I'll put your card right next to mine in my wallet. And my wallet goes in my pocket. <laughs> Thank you, Hans. I know I can always depend on you. Well, you will not be alarmed if I excuse myself for a few minutes, Maria. A few minutes? But, oh, well, of course not, darling. I... In this neighborhood lives a person who helped me escape. Oh, who is he? Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to know such a thing in case you were ever questioned. You are right, dearest Hans. And so sensible. And it seems only right to take this moment to express my gratitude. Ah, you won't be there long, will you? Oh, no. A few minutes only. You order some drinks and wait. Yes, sir. I'll have uh, or beer or lemonade. Ah, I will read right here. And you be careful. Uh, Hans? Yeah. It wouldn't hurt a bit if you kissed me before you left. <laughs> that presents no problem. Mm. <laughs> Goodbye, Kleinchen. You even know how happy you have made I. The one you are expecting. I will see. <gasps> we can see in the door. Come in quickly. Oh, Trudy. Trudy, Trudy, my dear, dear wife. Oh, Hans, I cannot believe that you are here at last. One year. The longest year of our lives. Oh. Forget my messages. Sam, then weeks would go by without words. And you understood. Not very much. I expected that you would come today. Well, I'm here. But I did not understand the sentence. We would take a nice long walk to the sunset. Ah, that is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to walk right through to West Berlin. When? We leave immediately. Hans, Hans, how am I going to walk through to the West? Uh Here is your identity card. Maria Schmidt? Yeah. But that's not my photograph. I never owned a dress like that in my life. Like a little shop girl. No, No style, no flair. So? But the face is mine, or nearly... A bad photograph, that? Trudy, take off your wedding ring. Wear a glove to cover the mark. You are Maria Schmidt. You are 18 years of age and single. My parents are Heinrich and Rosa Schmidt. Your father is a baker. Heinrich and Rosa? Yeah. Baker. Where do I live? 134 Großhofstra, Selburg, West Germany. 134 Großhofstrasse, Selburg. My name is Hans Bauer, not Hans Barker. Bauer. Yeah. Oh, I, I hope I remember it all. Well, very likely they will ask you no questions. Just check your identity card. Look at the photograph. The photograph? The photograph? Yeah. Something about this photograph bothers me, Hans. It is me, and yet it is not me. Where did you get it? Oh, Trudy, we have no time to discuss... Hans, I'll not move till you tell me. Yeah. It took me months to find a girl who looked at all like you. Then more months to get to know her and get her to come with me to East Berlin. Oh, I understand. There is a real Maria Schmidt. And she is here today in East Berlin. And you have stolen her identity card. Not stolen. She gave it to me to keep for her. You made love to her, Hans. Oh, but always with you in mind, Trudy. While I rotted in the stingy room, you charmed this cheap little factory girl, tricked her into into trusting you, kissed her, caressed her. What disgusts There was no other way. Where is she now? In the cafe around the corner, sitting with two steins of beer and waiting for me. And what happens to her? She will wait until the beer is flat, the stupid goose. And then she will start whimpering that the Vox Polizei have captured her gentleman friend. But by that time, we will be across the border and free. Will we, Hans? 
Last year, you earned your freedom. This year, you are swindling mine. I gave you my word that I would get you out unharmed. I have kept my word. Yes, your word to me, not to that... that girl. Oh, Trudy, this is no time for Sunday school arguments. Will you come with me, or won't you? I will come, but not proudly. Oh, Hans, how can we be happy when we think of the misery you are bringing down on Maria Schmidt? It's impossible. This is the arithmetic of honor. Tell me, there is something perhaps wrong with your, your beer? Oh, no, sir. Not at all. It is very good. The best beer I have ever tasted anywhere in my whole life. Well, how do you know when you haven't tasted it? Oh, well, I... Relax, for I don't try so hard. <laughs> I'm not one of them. I know the beer is like anything else. Not as good as it was, but it can be drunk. I will drink it. As soon as my friend returns. Friend? My friend, there was no one with you when you ordered the beer. But she was just walking away as you came over to the table. Oh, this is your friend. Well, yes, I see. You see what? Uh, I'd rather not say. Has something happened to him? Oh, I know nothing about anything. But you must tell me. He said he would be back in a few minutes, and it is almost an hour. Yes, yes, that's too bad. Has he been taken by the book Polizei? I know nothing about anything. Please, please. I'm worried sick about him. I begged him not to come to East Berlin, but he insisted. Take my advice, Fräulein. Don't wait any longer. Go back through the checkpoint yourself. But I couldn't leave if my fiancé is in trouble. Fiancé is it? Well, just about. I couldn't. I couldn't. And besides, I could leave anyway. He has my identity card. Oh, no, Paul. Well, you see, I was nervous about losing it, so he has taken care of it. I can't go until he comes back with it. Oh, I hope he's all right. Mm, he's all right. He... You know, you're, you're not just calming me. I know he is safe. It's you who are in danger. I saw him ten minutes ago hurrying up the back alley toward the Friedrichstrasse checkpoint with another woman. Oh, you must be mistaken. Not... Not fun. I was unfortunately not mistaken. The woman looked almost the same as you. Now you know why he took your identity card. Oh. Not now I know everything, except what I am going to do now. May I suggest, Fräulein, that the time has come to drink the beer both times, then turn yourself over to the Volkspolizei. <laughs> Trudy, how simple it all was. Less than an hour, and we are in Selbrook, safe and free at last. It was simple, Hans. And we are safe. But we will never be free. Ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to take all your belongings when you leave the place. <laughs> belongings? The coat on my back? There will be many coats. Come, Trudy. Hans. Huh? Look, coming up the steps. A policeman. Herr Bauer? Ah, uh, yes, officer. Please to come with me. You are under arrest. You are charged with the theft of a document of the West German Republic. The identity card of Fräulein Maria Schmidt. Presented The Arithmetic of Honor, written by Raphael David Blau and directed by Warren Somerville. In the cast, William Redfield, Evelyn Juster, Louis Van Ruten, Connie Lemke, and Danny Ocko. 
Audio engineer, Neil Pulse. Sound technician, M.C. Brock. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlasdotsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. Executive producer for Theater 5, Edward A. Byron. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking. This has been an ABC Radio Network production.